What is DNA and its function? Let's think about the cellular flow of information. And that is, I have a diagram here of a, of a cell. And, the, and I have diagrammed in this picture the nucleus of the cell that contains the computer. Well, the computer is basically the code that dictates what that cell does, the function of that cell. And that code is the DNA. And that DNA is genetic material that is inherited from your mother and father. So you are actually a hybrid of mom and dad make you an individual, unique individual, just like mom and dad were unique individuals made up of DNA from their mother and father. So a lot of what we try to understand in genetics is what are the contributing sequences that mom and dad may contribute to an individual to make them unique? That gives them unique traits. Those traits are the color of your hair, the color of your eyes, what you look like. That's easy to understand that component of genetics because if you sit in a room of a lot of people, you look around, you all look different. And you look different because you inherited different genes and genetic information from different parents. And so what you look like on the outside makes you individually unique. And I'm simply extending that to the inside, what you look like on the inside, what every individual cell looks like, what every individual myeloma looks like is individually unique based on the genetic information that's coding for the function of that cell. And that DNA is transcribed from the code into an, a molecule called RNA. And that RNA is then translated in the cell into the proteins. Call them the factories of the cell. And you can imagine that the genetic changes that might occur may affect the amount of RNA that's produced. It may affect the structure of the factory. Maybe you make a factory that has an extra smokestack so that your factory is producing more protein that causes cells to divide more frequently. That would be worth knowing. On the other hand, you may have a factory that fails to put on the brakes so that the cells don't break and stop dividing. So anything that happens at the DNA can impact the factory or the functions of a cell because that's where it's all coded. So trying to understand that genetic information and the consequence of that genetic information on the function of the cell becomes really important to understand this disease.